guys, my name is Megan Sisko and the social issue I will be talking about today is bullying. And it is actually Bullying Prevention and Awareness Month, so I thought this would be a really great opportunity to bring awareness to the social issue of bullying. Now, my life before the experience and the knowledge of bullying was very ignorant and confusing. When I was in the first grade, I had my first experience with bullying and I had no idea of the repercussions and the damage that it could have on my life. And I was both a witness and an experiencer of bullying from then on. So the problem that I'm introducing today is the mental, physical, and social well-being of both the victims, the bullies, and also the witnesses that awareness of this issue could help solve. And so bullying can affect everyone's life. It is a serious issue that really needs the attention of the public. It has affected my life because I have seen the negative impact bullying can have as both a student and as somebody who works with children. Now studies show from the national survey results from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention that approximately one in every five American students experience bullying on school property every year. And so, as I mentioned before, bullying has affected me personally and all throughout my public school career, I was both a witness and an experiencer. Both of these had a negative result on my well-being. Bullying has the power to make you feel defenseless and it can make you feel powerless and it can create a bystander effect on witnesses who either don't know how to stand up or they just simply don't want to and that could be for a number of reasons why. According to John Darley and Bib Latane, who were the first to study this phenomenon in 1970, that individuals are slow to respond because of what is known as diffusion of responsibility. Now this problem is worth addressing because like I said, it can affect everybody's life. Everyone could either be a victim, a witness, or a bully themselves, and every type of person in this problem deserves to have some help received so that this issue can be helped resolved. Now, there are many different types of bullying. There's verbal bullying, physical bullying, social bullying, and cyberbullying. And in a 2016, the National Center for Educational Statistics survey shows that 14% of bully students struggle academically. And so the possibility for change created by my topic is that the help can be brought to the victims through awareness. And through awareness, change can be made. And so the upside in embracing my topic is the awareness of how to spot bullies and how to help. In most situations, the bullies themselves are struggling with low self-esteem and that is a problem worth embracing in itself. Spotting the bullies and helping them receive the help they need is a really great way in helping reduce bullying. And then there's a downside of this problem remaining unsolved, unsolved excuse me, and that is, excuse me, sorry. There is a downside to if my problem were to remain unsolved, and that is the people who will continue to be affected by bullying. And, that, and there, there is a long lasting effect that society can have on that and that can and will be negative. So what I had to decide in order to embrace this topic is that I needed to stand up and I needed to use my voice and platform for good. And so the choice that I had that I did turned everything around for me. And so the choice that my audience could take from this are taking those first steps of having conversations with others about the dangers of bullying and how to avoid being a bystander. And so my resolution was made obvious because awareness helps prevent others from becoming a victim and it helps bullies receive the help they need. This transformation was made permanent by others by becoming more aware and wanting to be a part of the change. Thank you guys for listening.